excited, you know, uh, you know, for opening day, and they started out scoring some runs against the A's, and then they started playing the division, and then they started quickly losing series, and you know, they they've already become almost unlikable and a little bit unwatchable, and we're mm-hmm. only halfway through April. Yeah, and again, it's the it's the stupid Marlins. Yeah, Marlins you know, and the Mets. Yeah, it's unbelievable, yeah. and. Already, I'm seeing. Well, Girardi's in the final year of his deal. Yep. How long's he gonna last? And he adjusted the lineup after like eight or ten games already. Yeah. It's like a panic move, isn't it? Well, I mean, the thing is too, like half the pitchers aren't even ready because they didn't have a full spring training, right? And then the other part is, you know, what's the way you win in baseball? They say defense and pitching, mm-hmm. and the Phillies don't have defense and pitching. <laughs> <laughs> right, and it's not hitting weather yet, as no. Charlie Manuel used to uh, opine. So they're, you know, every now and then they'll they'll break through and score a bunch of runs, and then other nights, you know, they're scoring, they're scratching out one. Yeah, so, it's it's frustrating yeah. because it's been going on for so long with this team. We got to get Bo on. We got to get Larry Boa. Oh yeah, he can heat. I'd he love to heat. ask him when we do get him on about the the Kershaw decision. Yeah. where they pulled Kershaw after like seven innings or whatever it was and 80 pitches, and he had a perfect game going. Ugh. And, you know, I guess the justification was, like you mentioned a minute ago, that they had this limited spring training and the pitchers aren't, you know, up to speed yet. They're not fully stretched out, as they like to say. Yeah. You know, but there's a piece of history that may have happened. Who knows? You know, maybe he gives up a bomb and if he in his next hitter, I don't know. But it's like you know, things like that happen in today's game because of the micromanaging of the analytical approach to baseball that has just taken over the game. Yeah. And you know, it's it's we romanticize about the game back, you know, 20, 30 years ago when we were younger and watched a hell of a lot more of it. And it's things like that that kind of keep us from going back.